Hello all, in this video I will show you how to pair two numbers HC05 Bluetooth modules. HC05 modules by default are slave modules. We make use of Arduino Uno to configure one Bluetooth as a slave module and USB to TTL board to configure master module. We can leave the slave module to default but to know the address we have to enter the AT command mode. Connect the uh, Before connecting Arduino to Bluetooth, first plug the Arduino to PC and then note the COM port allotted and then select that port inside the Arduino IDE. Upload an empty code that is void setup empty and void loop empty. Upload this empty code onto Arduino. Now the bootloader of Arduino is bypassed and only the UART section will be in use. Now remove the USB power from Arduino and connect with the slave Bluetooth module using jumper wires. VCC of Bluetooth module should go to 5V of Arduino. Ground to ground. Key of Bluetooth should go to 3.3V of Arduino. TX should go to TX of Arduino. RX should go to RX of Arduino. Note the straight connection here. It is not reverse. It is not TX to RX. It is TX to TX and RX to RX. That is the way we connect between Arduino and uh, Bluetooth. Now connect the USB cable to Arduino so that Bluetooth module is powered up. The Bluetooth has entered into command mode at the baud rate of 38400. You can notice the slow blinking of status LED indicating this. The Bluetooth has entered the command mode. Open the serial monitor of Arduino. Set the baud rate to 38400 and then select both NL and C CR that is both new line and carriage written is required to communicate with the Bluetooth. Now type in AT and click send you should get back OK response. AT plus name returns the name of the module. AT plus PSWD returns the password of the module it is 1234 here that is the default. You can change this by using equal to instead of a question mark. AT plus role returns the role of the module. By default it is zero that is slave module. Finally AT plus ADDR question mark returns the address of the module. It is like three sections of digits separated by colons. Uh, remove colon and insert commas to use it in the AT command. Note this address of slave which we have to link on the master module. Now remove the wire at key pin which we use to enter the AT command and then reset the slave module by pulling out the VCC wire and connecting back again. The status the LED starts blinking fast indicating that it is looking for a pair. Now we shall configure the master module using USB to TTL board. Connections between these uh, two are uh, VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground, key to 3.3 volt, TX to RX and RX to TX. Note the reverse connections between RX and TX pins. Connect the USB to TTL board to PC. Here I am using an USB extension wire from PC. The BT module has entered command mode at 38400 baud. That is indicated by the slow blinking of the status LED. We will use a terminal software real term for configuring the master module. Open the real term software and under setup terminal select CR plus LF for transmit 
and then check the local echo box to see what you type under setup serial port select the com port allotted to the usb to ttl board and then baud rate as 38 400 parity is none stop it is one for better visibility i am setting the font size to 14 so that you you can see the 80 commands Typing AT to get OK response. AT plus ORGL restores uh, module to original state. AT plus RM AAD releases the module from any previous path. AT plus PSWD equals 1234. This sets the password to 1234. That should be same as that of the slave. AT plus role equals 1 sets this module as master. The default is 0, we are setting it as master. AT plus C mode equals 1 allows connection to any address other than the bound one. AT plus INIT initializes or starts up the SPP profile library for uh, Bluetooth. This is the preferred library for uh, serial communication of Bluetooth. AT plus INQ returns the address of the nearby Bluetooth modules. Here you can see the slave modules address. Now to pair the modules, give this command AT plus link equal the address of the slave. Here use comma instead of colon. Watch out the status LED on the Bluetooth modules. The status LED starts blinking slowly once it gets a pair. On both the modules, the LED blinks twice a second indicating that they are paired. Remove the key wire from master and then reset it by uh, removing and connecting back the power wire. Watch the status LED on slave. Once the power is released, the LED blinks fast, indicating that it is looking for a pair. As soon as the master module gets power, the status LED glows twice per second, indicating that the both, are, both the modules are paired. Same way, reset the slave module and watch the status LED. While looking for pair, it blinks fast and when it gets a pair, it blinks twice a second. Thank you for watching.